Those of us who print with metal are keeping something alive that's vital for our society. It's a refuge for me. I took my first and only formal printing class in 1968. I learned how to set type by hand. It's where poetry hits the page. The crows perching in the bare orchard. You never know a poem as well as you do when you set it by hand and print it. Rattled black vowels. When I print someone else's poem, I'm working with that person's ideas, that person's words. The same circular reason. But if it's printed in a way that really honors the words, that's important. P's and Q's Press. I'm a letterpress printer. But I'm sort of stepping out of one world and into another when I go from, from the presses to, to the computer. I do email, yes. <laughs> You know, I'm one of those people who it just isn't real comfortable in the digital world. People would come up to me at poetry readings and say, why don't you have a website? Started looking at Weebly as a way of building a website. It was something we could do. www.psandqs.press It's simple, it's elegant, pages aren't cluttered, but they're approachable. It's been kind of fun to do it. We're on our way to the next line of the haiku, I guess. The word is Weebly, shiny metal letters in the analog world. Well, I hope the website gives people an avenue to see what's possible. Broken consonants from their feathered bags. It feels good. I feel like I'm uh, carrying on a, a tradition. Hollow vowels all night long. I hope that they want to sit down and hold that piece of paper in their hands and read the poem over and over. Thank you for listening.